Igor Fiontek versus Marketa von Drusova is the first quarter final for the French Open for 2024. Both ladies have had different roads to get to this stage. Von Drusova entered the tournament as a number five seed. I'm going to take on Masarova in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 1, 6 3. In the second round, she would take on qualifier Volley Nets. And after losing the first set 6 Love, she would fight back to win. Love 6 6 1, 6 4. In the third round, she would take on the wild card Bouquet, who had just taken out Sinia Kova in the previous round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 1, 6 3. In the fourth round, she would take on the qualifier Danilovic, who had beaten Collins along on the way. And after going down early in the first set, she would fight back to win. 6-4, 6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. If you want to take it into the tournament as a number one seed, I'm going to take on the qualifier Jean Jean in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-2. In the second round, she take on Naomi Osaka, a fellow four-time Grand Slam champion who was on the comeback. And this was epic. With Fiontek taking the first and losing the second, eventually fighting back from match points down in the third. 7-6, 1-6, 7-5 to advance to the next round. In the third round, she take on Buskova. And after a close first set, Fiontek would win in straights. 6-4, 6-2. In the fourth round, she take on Potapova, who'd gotten lucky with the draw opening up. And this was a demolition job. Fiontek winning 6-love, six 6-love six in the fastest match she'd ever won to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have played three times before, with Fiontek leading the head-to-head 3-0, having won all their matches in straight sets. However, the last two matches they've played, Fiontek has had to play a tough first set, playing a tiebreak, but eventually, after winning that tiebreak, she ran away with the match. So, it's really important that Von Drusova does win that first set if she's going to make something happen here. If Von is going to win this one, she needs to get that first set, as I just mentioned. Every time she's played Fiontek. She's had chances early in the match. As we all know, Fiontek does have a little bit of a slower start to matches sometimes. Obviously not against Potapova, but sometimes. So Von Drusova's got to capitalize on that one. Try and win that first set at all costs. If Fiontek's going to win this one, she's got to get that first set because she knows once she wins that first set against Von Drusova, she runs away with the second. So getting that first set and trying to like just keep Von Drusova down with that first set is the way to go. And also moving Vondi around. It's going to be different to Potapova because Potapova of course hit a lot of errors. So Fiontek's got to be ready for long rallies against someone like Von Drusova who gets the ball back a lot more. Good matchup. We've got a top 10 clash in the quarterfinals. This is the stuff that we want to see when we get to this stage. But I have to go with Fiontek this one in straight sets. Right now, she just looks so much better due to that loss, I guess, or that near loss against Osaka. I think it's kind of sparked her into maybe getting into a little bit more of a mindset. It seems to ignite her a little bit, and it's, I think it's probably put her into a bit more of an aggressive state of mind to try and get this title. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the semis.